So today we're going to be doing a complete guide on utilizing Cash App. Now we're currently on our iOS device when using Cash App, so there might be a little bit of a difference when using an Android system. So just something to keep in mind as we go through this. Now, first and foremost, we're actually here on the home page of our Cash App account, and this is what it's going to look like when you load up the account for the very first time. Now, as we're going through this, if you still are yet to sign up for the account, check out our link down below. That actually does get you a nice little bonus for signing up while helping support us out to make more free content just like this. Now, here are a few little things we want to talk about at the beginning here on this home page. First, this is going to be the dollar amount that we're going to be plugging in here to either request money or to pay somebody out that we want to send money to. So for example, if we wanted to go ahead and tap on $70 and let's say 25 cents, that right there you can see is going to be in US dollars. Now if you tap over here, you can actually have that into Bitcoin if you have some, which of course we're going to talk about here in a little bit as well. But for the sake of this example for now, we're going to stick to the USD. Now, as far as how money actually gets into this account too, we will be breaking that down as well. But I wanted to kind of start off with that homepage. So when you see this, you have a better understanding of how this all works. So in this section, when we do the $70.25, we can either request this from somebody else in their Cash App account, or we can pay this out to somebody in their Cash App account. Now, when you're, make, when you're sending money to people or receiving money from other people, that money transfers fairly instantly for either you or the receiver when it comes to having that money in your account. And what's beautiful about that is that money goes right into your balance, which is on the bottom left hand side of the screen here. And that balance could either be withdrawn to your personal bank account. It could be used for purchases if you get the free debit card, which we'll also be talking about. Or you can also invest that into the stock market with Cash App as well, which once again, we will be talking about that too. Now, the other thing I just want to show here on this page as we continue to go along are a few other little settings here, especially if you are just quickly needing to kind of have a good understanding of this app. The top left over here is actually to be able to either show your QR code or scan a QR code from another Cash App user. Because when you are either sending or requesting, when you go through that method, you can actually just type in the person's phone number or email or cash tag to be able to find them. But if it's somebody that maybe you're just having a connection with in real time and you need to send it to them, you can have it with a QR code. So if you tap on this, this is what's going to show up. Obviously, it's going to show the camera on screen and then you're going to be able to scan the QR code from them. Or you can tap on my code and it'll show your code and then they can go ahead and scan their QR code. That way you guys can have instant connection without having to actually share private information like a phone number email or even worry about the cash tag in real time. All right, so now we're back here on this main page and we're gonna just take a quick look and see how this actually looks when we hit either pay or request. So for this example, we're gonna first tap on pay. So the way this is going to work out for us is actually first and foremost is choosing who we're gonna be paying out to. So this is gonna be either the name, the cash tag, phone number, or email, kind of like we mentioned earlier. We are gonna wanna put a note on here and then it's currently tagged in as cash. We can actually end up sending gift cards or stocks if you really wanted to as well maybe something like a birthday. Now there are going to be names here that you can potentially have connections with already that you can go ahead and just choose automatically. These are typically people in your contacts you usually give access to that when you are signing up for your account. If you declined it, no worries. That will just have added in once you start sending money to people or receiving money from people. Now, once you fill all this in, it'll give you the option to go ahead and highlight the pay button to send that money. Now, as far as how the money is being pulled from, currently it's actually pulled from the bank account that we have on file. Again, I'm gonna show you how to get the, all that filled out here in just a moment. And if you wanted to go ahead and change that, you can actually tap over here on the top and this is gonna show you a different option. Now, we currently don't have enough balance in our Cash App account to be able to send the $70.25. So it is opting to choose from our bank account. Now, typically it takes about a day to three days to pull from our bank, where if it was in our Cash App account, it would pull that instantaneously for us. So if we wanted to go ahead and send less money, we'll have the option for our cash balance. And it usually will prioritize your cash balance first if it has enough money to do so. Again, we're gonna go through the steps on how to add a bank account as well too. So no worries when it comes to all of the setup as well. So let's go ahead and close this off here for just a moment. And just to kind of show you the request section here and what that's gonna look like for you as well too. So this is gonna look very similar like the other page, except for this time it's obviously see not money that you're sending out, it's money you're receiving. So you would be putting in all the information here from the two, 
for the reason you're having it sent. Again, you're gonna have some suggestions available and then the request will fill up once you choose the person and that request will be sent to them. Now that money doesn't get put into your account instantly. It's only as quickly as that person will hit accept on their end as well. So now we're back here on the main page once again. And what we're gonna wanna do now is look at some of the settings that we're gonna have on our Cash App account. So we're actually gonna click on our icon over here on the top right hand side. I have my photo on here. If you don't have a photo, it'll either be like initials or just a basic icon. You can of course upload your photo as well. Makes it easier when it comes to transferring money to and from friends and family. So we'll tap here and see that next screen. So here on the screen, we're gonna have a couple pieces of information and then we're gonna go ahead and scroll. So you can see up here, we're also gonna have the QR code quickly and easily. Here, we're also gonna have the ability to send this into like a text message if we wanted to, as far as our information. And then of course, we're gonna be able to upload our actual photo ID. Now we currently have a cash tag already, which is gonna be right over here. And if we wanted to, we can edit that. And as you're creating your account, you will choose a, a cash tag, which is effectively a dollar sign with a username. If it's already taken, you do have to change that into something different. So it won't let you have multiple of the same cash tags. Now, if you go ahead and tap on edit profile, that lets you change your name on file, again, as well as the cash tag. Now there are also ways to help prevent fraud if you wanna go ahead and verify your identity. And you can also invite other friends or family members to be able to get a nice little bonus when you have your account already set up. Now here in the next section, this is just gonna be some basic setting information, but I just wanna go over this so that it helps you when it comes through the process of using Cash App. So the top is gonna to be personal, very similar to the edit information above. This will also allow you to have things such as your actual address on file so they can mail you your free debit card, which again, we will get to here in just a little bit. We're gonna have linked accounts, which we'll actually go into for just a moment here in just a sec. So you can actually see what it looks like on the back end. There's security and privacy measures. This is gonna help you do like two-factor authentication. Any favorites such as friends or contacts that you wanna utilize. You can also have a family account. So if you have younger children, 13 and older, you can actually go ahead and have them have a Cash App account as well with limited features and benefits. Uh, but also being able to still use their card. There are gonna be some limits on withdrawals or deposits into Cash App, whether you're receiving or sending or spending on the card. This will kind of break that all down for you. Notifications, you can also, of course, get notifications from Cash App. So that way when people are sending or receiving, you'll get those notifications. And any documentation, whether it's tax forms or statements, you'll have those. And of course, a support to be able to ask questions and reach out to Cash App directly. Now from here, let's go ahead and click on linked bank accounts so we can show you what this looks like on that end. All right, I went ahead and switched out my color over here to green so it's a little bit more visible in the white background. So in here in the linked accounts, this is where we're gonna have our accounts available to be able to pull money into Cash App or withdraw money to our accounts from Cash App. So the top one here is going to be our debit card. This actually allows us to have instant transfers available for us if we wanna have money go in or out faster, typically with a fee, and I'll show you that here in a little bit. So this is gonna be our debit card. We also have a bank account on file. This could be the same account that the card is also attached to, or it could be completely separate. And then you can actually also add in a credit card, although the credit card won't show up until you add at least a debit card on file, because the credit cards will typically charge you additional fees, so there are some limitations on which credit cards are available to be able to add onto Cash App. So if you try to add one in, it might tell you that it's not available, and typically that's because of some limitations and or extremely high fees that it just would not be feasible to utilize on Cash App. So in this section here, when you are opening up your account for the first time, these will be completely empty. It typically will say add a debit card and then add a bank account. I like to have both available for me so that way I can go ahead and transfer in and out quickly and have different options available for me based on my current needs. All right, so let's go ahead and hop back over to our account page. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and close this off and go back to our main account page for Cash App. All right, so now we're here back on the main page of Cash App. And so what we're gonna actually see here is on the very bottom of the screen, we have a couple of different sections of the screen. I did mention earlier that this is where you can see your current balance that you actually have inside of Cash App. We're gonna go in there in a little bit, but there's a few other sections that we wanna go into first. Currently right now we're on the dollar sign. This is the main home homepage of Cash App. So if you toggle onto any of the other sections, this is your way back to this main page. Or if you shut down the app, this is where it's gonna take you when you first land on the app. Now the other sections here, we're gonna have a little debit card section. This is where you're gonna be able to get a free debit card from Cash App. Now this free debit card actually allows you to use whatever is in your cash balance right from the debit card itself. And what's really great about the debit card is one, of course it's free, 
And then two, they have some really cool features and benefits. So we're gonna go ahead and click on here so I can show you. Now, my card is right up here. Now you can't actually see the numbers on the card. I didn't even block it out. It just kind of does that for recordings. And if you really wanted to, you can push the eye over here so you can see your full card number. So if you don't have a physical card with you, which they do send to you, you can actually still use it available online or in places that accept a you know numbered card. Now you can actually add your debit card onto Apple Pay as well as Google Pay. So you can see you can do that right over here. So the nice thing is you have so many options with either the physical card, you have the digital card, or you also have the actual numbers that you have access to as well. So many ways to be able to get access to your card. Now there are a couple things here. When you first load up this page, if you're brand new to Cash App, this is gonna actually offer you the cash card completely free. So you'll go through the step-by-step -step process of setting up your card. Now, when you set up that card, it usually takes about five days to actually get sent out to you. And then you can activate that directly here on the app. Now, some of the benefits of utilizing this, like I said, are some discounts. So we're going to be able to explore options right over here. But before we do that, just want to show you some of the different features that are in here as well. So again, we mentioned being able to add up to Apple Pay, so that way you could just use it digitally entirely. They have a roundup feature, which actually connects to your investing, which is really nice, or even your savings, as well as being able to lock your card in real time, which I absolutely love when companies do this in case you lose it or don't want to use it you can lock that up. They do also have a free overdraft coverage. So if you're spending more than what's in the account on your Cash App card, it'll pull from your bank on file. You can actually go ahead and find an ATM to either pull money from, which there are fees included typically, as well as being able to deposit money at locations as well too. You can even change your pin here in real time, which is really nice. So you don't have to worry about contacting them through phone. And then of course they do have the card support separately as well too. And then you can even design different cards. So the card that they give you is a very basic card, but then they do have like metal cards and very cool customizable cards as well. If you want to go through that section, you can go in there. I'll show you really quick. So you're gonna have a lot of different options here for you as well. So there's classic and then there's metal, but you can see here, there are very unique cards that you can go ahead and get. And you can even customize it with some writing on the cards or even emojis and different ways of looking at things. So you can see here, some of them have a higher cost just depending on which way you are going. So even though these ones do have a cost, the basic one that you would get with Cash App is again, completely free. So it wouldn't cost you anything to get the debit card. All right, so we close out of that and then we're gonna go ahead and scroll back up. And again, if you're new to Cash App, you won't see this until you actually order your free debit card. Then you'll have access to all these new menu items. So from here, we're gonna go ahead and click on Explore Offers so I can show you what this looks like for you. So on here, this is gonna be a section where if you actually spend the money from the cash card itself and you have a bonus offer on there, you will get whatever discount they have. So you can see some things are like 8% off, 5% off. Sometimes they are full dollar amounts. And what this happen, th what this is, is actually effectively like a cash back and it's an instant cash back. So for example, if you are gonna be going to Chipotle, you can go ahead and get 5% off of your order. You can see when it expires, the maximum amount discount you get and how often it's valid. So if you click on add offer, you can see it says it's offer it has been added and we can close that off and then you can go ahead and have that offer as a discount. Now you can only have one offer at a time. So if you want to, you do have to hit swap to be able to switch out to a different promotion. So you just have to remember that if you are getting a discount and you want to use it again for something else, you just want to have to come back in here to go ahead and have that swapped out. And like I mentioned that 5% off or whatever discount you're going to be getting will go back into your cash balance instantaneously. So if you spend, you know, let's say $50 at Chipotle, you're gonna get $2.50 added back into your Cash App account right away. So it's not by the end of the month, it's not after 30 days, it's instantaneously for you after you spent the money. So the next section here is going to be with the magnifying glass. So if we actually tap right over here, in this section, we're gonna see a couple things. This is where you can actually go ahead and search for any friends or businesses that you might be utilizing Cash App with. It'll give you a list of people that you might already be in connection with, and it'll show you maybe some of the different offers that relate to you based off of of the different offers that you've used in the past and also some recommendations with like gift cards if you wanted to go ahead and send any of those. Now this next section right over here, the one that has the current number on there, it says 105 for our example here. This is gonna be kind of like just your notifications and updates for you. So if you tap over here, so here in this section, of course, we're gonna be able to see all of our transactions so we can see everything pending and everything completed as well. And like I mentioned earlier in the settings menu, you can actually see your statements as well too. But if you wanna see things real time, 
time, you can actually come into the activities. You can even search here at the top for a company if you wanna see that transaction. And you can actually even see your cash back bonuses coming up in here in real time once they are completed. All right, so this next section over here is gonna be the $30 amount here. If you don't have any money in your Cash App account, this section right here will look kind of like a bank icon here. Um, and if you see the little red dot, that means you haven't been in that section since you had additional money added into your account. So just something to keep in mind. We're gonna tap right over here. And in this section, we're gonna see quite a bit more information for our overall account. Now, currently, we're gonna see our cash balance here at the top, which is gonna show our $30. And then there's a section here where you can actually see your account number and routing number. So you can actually have Paychex coming into your Cash App account, which you actually can even do in this section down here. And what's really nice about that is if you did have your Paychex coming into Cash App, you can typically have them come up to two days early, depending on the companies you work with. The biggest downside is that it's not typically like a traditional bank in the sense of earning any kind of interest on your account, uh, but just something to keep in mind in that whole side of things. Now here you can actually add money by adding cash. You can also cash out. So if we click on add cash, this is going to quickly give us a few denominations that we might want to be using. We could also click the three little dots here to go ahead and add in a specific amount if we wanted to, but we can, for example, click on $10 and then we can click on add and it'll do our face ID right over here. And then right over here, you can see it says you added $10 to your cash app and you can see it says, make sure that you keep some money into your external account as it might take a couple days for that money to pull. We can click on done and we can see our balance went from $30 up to $40 for us. Now, similarly to cashing out, if you tap over here, this is gonna look a little different. It's gonna just show you the total denomination that you have and then you can go ahead and slide back and forth on this toggle here. If you wanted to put a more specific amount, so you can just tap on the total dollar and then it'll bring this whole thing up so you can actually go ahead and do, let's say like $4.25 to withdraw click on cash out and that will send that money over to your bank that's on file for you. Now, if you actually have a card on file, sometimes you could do an instant transfer, which actually sends your money pretty quickly with an additional fee. So something to keep in mind, if you want to have money transfer quickly, you can go that route. I typically like to just do the regular transfer. Usually it takes about a day or two to have that money pulled from cash app into my regular account. So now we talked about the account number and routing number. So if we actually go in this section up here, this is going to show us again, our total balance we can turn on overdraft coverage if we wanted to and that's where we're going to see our account number and our routing number so we can copy them quickly if we needed to or be able to type them in if we are using a form for direct deposit or for any other means for our account and routing number now there's also a section here for doing the direct deposit setup there's also right over here to be able to do a bank or wire transfer as well and then you can also set up reoccurring deposits if you want to have money in this account come in for any particular reason like paying rent to a a friend or whatever else you might need. Now, also too, if you have that reoccurring deposit coming in, you can actually do what they call cash app borrow. So if you tap on here, this will actually give you access to additional cash. So there are some stipulations like having the cash card, which is free, having deposited about $200 or more typically on a given month, and then keeping your balance above $0. So the money they will give you access to is going to be different for every single person and how much it's gonna cost you to have access to that money if you wanna go ahead and use it. So you can think of it as a short loan. If you're somebody who maybe wants to use a couple extra bucks early before a paycheck comes in, you can go through the cash app borrow feature. All right, so from here, we're gonna go ahead and close off at the top. And then we're gonna go back into the main page over here with our money. Now back here in the money section, there is going to be a few more sections here that we wanna look over, one of which is going to be the cash app savings account. Now in here with the cash app savings, when we tap in, you can see I set a goal for $150. There's currently zero in it because it's not including what's in the cash app balance. Balance. So we can actually transfer money in from our balance, again, move it out as well, update our goal, and then set automatic savings if we really wanted to, and then you can also see your activity. Now, the biggest downside of the Cash App savings is there is zero APY on your money sitting in this account. So you're actually not going to be earning any interest. Although it is really nice to have a section where you can actually keep money aside if you just want to have a short buildup to be able to spend, you know, a couple hundred bucks on certain things that you personally want. So we're going to go back over here. They also do have a tax section over here if you want to go ahead and file utilizing Cash App taxes. So this is going to give you options to be able to see your estimates and actually go through the process of filing your taxes on here. Now, I haven't personally used it myself, so I can't give an additional details on this section here. So just something you can check out on your own. 
Then they also have a couple other things as well too here for you. They do have a Bitcoin, so you can actually go ahead and buy some cryptocurrency if that's something you want to do. That'll be housed here on your Cash App account. Now you can go through and read all of this to dive in deeper when it comes to utilizing Bitcoin purchases on Cash App. And you can click on Get Started here and it actually takes you right to the page to be able to buy some Bitcoin. The nice thing is, as you can see here, you can actually buy it with as little as $1. You can actually send Bitcoin to other Cash App users as well if you want to kind of pay them in that form as well. Now, when you're getting that Bitcoin, that Bitcoin does stay on your Cash App account. So just something to keep in mind when wanting to be able to purchase. You're pretty much either having it on your account to be able to buy and sell or sending it to other people that also have a Cash App Bitcoin account. Now, we're going to go back over one more step here and we're going to look at our stocks when it comes to Cash App. So this also so you can invest with as little as $1. So from this section here, you can go ahead and click on buy stocks and this will kind of break you down into the actual section to be able to go ahead and buy stocks. Now from here, you can actually go ahead and buy individual stocks or even groups of stocks like ETFs. And of course, there's a bigger deep dive into this when it comes to actually learning more about it, which I will have you covered here. So you can make sure you learn all about this separately than just the regular cash app. But just as a quick example here, if you click on Apple for one, you can actually go ahead and buy Apple Apple, again with as little as one dollar and then you can actually sell directly on here as well the information on here is going to be fairly limited compared to a lot of other investing apps but it is nice that you can actually use your cash balance right here to be able to buy stocks you can also set up reoccurring purchases to be able to buy into the stocks that you want if you want to keep it on a regular basis again even with as low as one dollar every single time now I mentioned earlier that if you do not have cash app go ahead and check out that link in the show notes down below for you so that way you can go ahead and get started and get a nice bonus while supporting out the channel so we make more free content just like this for you and speaking of free content i mentioned about diving deeper into the cash app invest section so you can learn more about it i'm gonna have my video right over here on screen so you can keep on learning